Hey guys, what's up? This is Apple Maps here, and um, this is part two to the Uncharted um, Tri Co op series. So, I'm um, playing with the Aya and um, Goddard, Aya725 and Goddard. And if you didn't watch part one, um, yeah, I'm just playing with them. And uh, we are currently on round um, four or five, I think, and it is Siege. And we are on top of this building, and uh, it's going pretty well for us right now. But, um, yeah, I'm not going to be talking about the gameplay as, um, you know, this whole series. I'm not going to be talking about the gameplay much. I'm just talking about random topics. And you can even put a topic in the comments below, you know, um, on what you want me to talk about and all that. Um, so, um, today I'm going to be talking about, um, um, you know, this history, basically, of Uncharted. So, you know, Uncharted has three games, Uncharted 1, Uncharted 2, and now there's Uncharted 3. So, Uncharted 1 is, I, I think, I'm not really sure, but, um, it, you know, Naughty Dog and uh, Sony, they didn't know it would become a real hit. It was, it was basically just for, um, um, campaign, you know, there's no multiplayer, it's pretty basic, and but the campaign astounded a lot of people, you know, that was that was the number one thing, people just love the storyline and everything, and that's why it got so popular, but, um, I'm not really sure, but I don't know when, um, Call of Duty, uh, 4 came out, but, um, you know, Call of Duty 4 was the real multiplayer experience that everyone loved, and I think Uncharted 1, I'm not really sure, but I think it came out before COD 4, and that's why I didn't, uh, have, you know, multiplayer, and, um, you know, if, if right now, um, we expect multiplayer in, like, every game we see, um, you know, if it doesn't have multiplayer, we're thinking, oh, so what's the use? I'm not gonna play this in, in, like, you know, the eight hours of when I beat campaign, I'm not gonna play it anymore, so what's the point? But, uh, you know, back then, <laughs> back then isn't that long ago, but, uh, Uncharted 1, people just love the story, and, uh, um, they bought the game for that. Um, so, uh, and then Uncharted 2, and, you know, I think COD 4 came out, and that was, that in my opinion, and also LBJ's opinion, the best COD ever. Um, you know, just a basis for everything, it was very balanced, and it had, um, um, you know, it was just very balanced, and it was the basis for multiplayer. I mean, you see Uncharted 3 right now, it's... It's basically like COD. I mean, COD 4 was the basis, and everyone's kind of copying um, uh, COD. Like, uh, create a class, you know, you can... In in every multiplayer game like this, where there's Team Deathmatch and Free For All and everything, you can now, like, create a class, and there's some... You know, not on all games, but there's a form of kill streaks. Like, in Uncharted 3, there's uh, the Metal Kickback system, and that works really well, you know. You know, sometimes they just give it another name, and... Uh, but, you know, it's basically the same thing. And that's what COD 4 did. It was just really the start of real, um, the real multiplayer experience. So, um, so what was I talking about? Uncharted 2, right? Um, so Uncharted 2, they added multiplayer, and that really, um, got people excited. You know, after COD 4, and, um, and the thing is, it wasn't just multiplayer, they didn't, of course, they knew that uh, Naughty Dog and you know, Sony, they knew that people loved the campaign mode in uh, Uncharted 1, so they wanted to bring that back, you know, continue the storyline and uh, everything, so, you know, I think they were planning to make an Uncharted 2 um, when they were releasing Uncharted 1, I think they were, but, um, you know, they weren't thinking it would get this popular. Um, so yeah, they created Uncharted 2, it has a very nice multiplayer experience, but the one thing that it lacked was the create class, you know, because COD 4 was the first one would like create a class, you know, the first real one where it was very good, it was just really, you know, balanced and everything. And they didn't have as good, they didn't, they actually did not have a create a class system in Uncharted 2. Um, you know, you just started out with an AK 47 and you picked up any weapons um, on the ground or anything in the maps. And the only place where you could customize. Your gun was in uh, co-op mode, so. But still, it was a good start for multiplayer on the Uncharted series, and a lot of people enjoyed it. You know, um, now, what multiplayer does is, so let's say you play campaign, and you have, um, you know, like eight hours of nice gameplay, you know. Um, eight hours of gameplay you really enjoy, you know, but then you can't play anymore, so. Uh, with multiplayer for all games, basically have unlimited gameplay time so you can play as long as you want I mean, 
you never get never gets old. I mean, if it, if one player is good, it's well made, it's a good system, then it never gets old. Like COD, people just play it 24/7. You know, so it's it's their basic game. I mean, there's nothing else to play. Just go right to COD, right? Um, yeah, that and you know, Uncharted tried to do that, and it's multiplayer. Was I mean, in my opinion, nobody can beat the COD experience for multiplayer. It's just so overwhelming, you know. It's it's really it's really well made, and uh, also I think well I'm not sure, but this might be a little bit biased. But I think more people enjoy first-person shooters than third-person, so that really um that really uh, uh in you know involves with the um, why people like COD uh, multiplayer better. So um. Hey, right here, um, these guys, I'm just gonna talk about the gameplay for a while. Yeah, those guys are buff chokers. And if you don't know, you have to shoot their helmets. So these guys are really annoying. Because you have to shoot their helmets first, and then you can melee them. And they're choking somebody, so you have to do it quickly. But uh, anyway, back to on topic. So on Charter 2, they had a really nice storyline. And uh, um, that was really, it was really nice. I mean, you know, a lot of people enjoyed the storyline as well as multiplayer. So I talked about multiplayer in Uncharted a lot so um and then there's also co-op mode which was extraordinary and i in my opinion though um modern warfare 3 i mean you know the cod series may have the best multiplayer experience i think the uncharted series has the best co-op experience it's just so fun i mean even if it's third person it's just you know i think it's just so much more fun than uh, even survival and uh spec ops in um, modern warfare um, three, you know, there's, there's missions too in this, but they're longer, they're more, um, story-based, you know, and, um, Arena is not only survival, but it's, it's missions in itself, and, like, a little missions, like a siege, and, uh, the, um, idol, you have to capture the idol. So, there's another buff choker. But, uh, anyway, so they had co-op, and, uh, I think they had, um, co-op, um, Something like this, where the enemies just came over and there's rounds and stuff, basically like this. Except there was no um, modes. I think it was just um, survival, like a Modern Warfare 3 right now. Um, but uh, they also had um, uh, they had story co-op missions. So you know, there's you have to complete an objective, and it's really fun with friends. It's, it was amazing. I'm trying to. I really like the co-op and. Uh, and uh, Uncharted 3 was just a huge leap, you know, the story was just, uh, it was pretty intense, you know. The graphics, it, the graphics itself aren't really improved, but there's little things that make it seem better. Like, you know, how much fire there is, you know, all those elements, you know, it's just really nice. You know, the water looks amazing, <laughs> I'm just looking at the fountain over there, but, uh, you know, the graphics are good as always. And, um... Uncharted 3, the whole new storyline is always, and, uh, multiplayer, they really made it really nice. It's just, like, um, a real multiplayer experience. You can play it with the same, um, seriousness that you play COD, you know. Um, it's really fun, you know. For people who would prefer third person over first person, this game is just amazing for that. You know, there's all the game modes you like, like Team Deathmatch and Free For All, um, and there's all this other stuff, too. So, um... Yeah, that's that's Uncharted 3, you know, the uh, multiplayer and the co-op. There's the missions are now like each one is connected to one another and there's chapters for the missions. If you saw like chapter one and chapter two in our series. Okay, chapter two will be coming soon, just uh, be patient for that. But if you saw those, those are really fun. And there's also this co-op arena where where there's different objectives that you have to complete and that's really fun. Um you know, they're really just, there's now create a class, um, it's called loadouts, and you can make your own gun combinations and whatnot, so that's really, um, a really good advance for Uncharted series, they really stepped up the multiplayer, and, um, that's about it, Naughty Dog, you know, um, they're really good with the Uncharted series, they make it better every time, and it's really worth the money and everything, um, and, uh, what else to talk about? So, I'm on round, uh, 7 or 8. 8, I think. I'm on round 8. And, uh, Siege in this little place. I like this little place, you know. There's a lot of cover. 
It's a pretty small place, but it's not uh, high up like the roof. You know, high up like the roof, they can come up there and uh, just slaughter you. And this place isn't that small. It's a little bigger, and uh, it works really good. And um, what else to talk about? Yeah, one thing I really want to do, actually, is um, do an Uncharted marathon. So I'm planning on borrowing Uncharted 1 from my friend, one of my friends and uh, playing, you know, the whole Uncharted campaign, like all of it, in order. Um, that would be really fun um, and enjoyable for you guys, I think. Um, but I have Uncharted 2 and Uncharted 3, so I can do those. I just need to borrow Uncharted 1. So and I have a lot of other games that I can do marathons with, um, like Infamous. My friend is willing to do a portal marathon with me, and you know what not, uh, I have a couple other games as well I can do a marathon on. Yeah, I've been thinking I might do a marathon month, if, if you guys want that, go ahead and leave a comment, and I'll get to it as soon as possible. Um, yeah, but right now there's a lot of series that I've been not very good about, like uh, Uncharted 3 Story. Um, the story co-op with the chapters of, you know, I haven't uploaded one of those in a long time. But, uh, sorry for that. I mean, I'll, I'll upload something as soon as possible. Um, but LBJ's got a lot of really nice model for three clips for you guys. And, um, we actually have a, a, a new guy, if you saw his video yesterday, um, or, you know, Ernie Tinkle. He makes a lot of PC gaming and he'll be, um, on our channel for a bit. And, um, you know, that's it. Um, I'll continue this in part 3. Um, until next time, bye bye. Please subscribe and favorite and like this video. And uh, check out our channel. We have a lot of other cool stuff. Um, and just leave a comment about anything you want me to talk about, anything you want me to make a video of, anything. So until next time, bye bye.